Hey up! It's uh, it's Thursday night in the shed, and um, yeah, I've just popped down here to get a few bits and bobs done before Saturday, um, which I'll chuck on the start of hopefully the final video. Hello, I'm Sinjin. This is the uh, yeah, etc. Covering amp, all that biz. Um, right, so good things. Grill cloth has turned up, which I've just got laid out and flattening a bit here. That came today. I think that was 20 quid from uh, eBay. Um, not so good. I have been everywhere this week, within reason, looking for replacement screws. I've managed to find one type on Amazon, which I needed anyway, because uh, the handles take more screws than the old handles. So yeah, that sorted, but I couldn't find any suitable equivalents for the rest of them. Um, so desperate times and desperate measures. I've got uh, all my screws in a bit of cardboard and you can't really see because of the glare, but yeah, they're all scraped and bashed and uh, down to the metal, a lot of them. Um, they're all pretty much still screwable with the, the heads and whatnot. So they'll still go in, but they look a state. So, me being a genius when it comes to things like this, or desperate, we've got some black paint, which goes on uh, some, yeah, some black enamel paint, which goes on metal, apparently. So we're going to give that a go. We're going to try painting our screw heads and um, they'll have a chance to dry before the weekend and hopefully they'll, um, they'll look a bit more ship shape when they're going on the amp. They'll look better than they do now, whatever I do, so. That's one thing I'm doing tonight. The other thing is I'm going to try and fit the grill cloth. So, yeah, I'm going to get to it. I'll keep filming, but let's try and keep this down to about three minutes because I'm bored of watching myself just editing this together. So if you're watching this, seriously, do you, you do realise how many other things there are on the internet apart from this? I mean, I'm very flattered. But... Uh, so that's flattening. They need painting. And oh, <clears throat> obviously we've got old grill here, old grill, which also has about 15,000 staples in it at the moment. So I'm gonna busy myself getting them out as well. And I'm not even gonna put that in fast forward because I'm boring myself just uh, just talking about it. Okay, um, there may be clips, there may not. Otherwise we'll jump straight to me um, messing up the covering, hopefully on a sunny Saturday. But for now, I'm gonna crack on with these bits. See you short, is that a blemish? No, it's a, something I can see through. See you shortly. You know what, I may as well film this bit just for the sake of completion. Already, already. Right, and uh, let's just have a crack at some of these. Special little, look, little arty brush with a rubber bit. Two pound 50. Of course, you know what's going to happen. I'm going to put too much on and I'm going to fill in my screw holes and it will set solid and I'll be spending half my Saturday chiseling them out, but that's all right. Right. <clears throat> I hate to disappoint you. If you want to see me painting screws at length, uh, please leave comments and I'll do a special video of me painting screws thrilling as this is I'm afraid I'm going to turn you off now the screws are done the screws looking shiny excellent the screws are going over here to dry away from the drip in case it rains tomorrow right grill oh god hello well it's Quite a bit later because that took a lot longer than expected. There's about a million and a half staples in uh, in this. They're all round the side and all over the back. Um, onto that in a second. I'm sorry. Cheers. This is uh, my beer flavoured drink because it's still dry January. Mm. Ooh. Right. So staples out. Hopefully. Oh no. There's going to be a couple in the middle, isn't there? Yeah, there's a couple in the middle by the look. Right, let's address that. And it's off! Kind of. 
Oh, please, there's always one. Right, where are you? Where's my tool gone? What's going on? Questioning everything I know, yeah. Now, if you are doing it with one of these, be careful because, especially when you're doing it on here, they have a habit of going. So, if you've got your hand there, yeah, it could have gone very wrong. But it didn't because I am a. Uh, I was going to say I'm a professional. I'm not. I'm a hapless idiot attempting these things. But you know, there we go. One old cloth. Ugh. You can see how that's discoloured. Maybe you can't by where the logo was. Oh, it's see-through, isn't it? Yes, but it's unpleasant to say the least. God knows what that is. Dust, I suppose, but probably nicotine and all manner of other nasties. And there is my. Baffle. Now another thing about restapling it, it's quite chewed up now with all the ones that have number one there that have come out. So I'm not gonna fill it, I'm just gonna uh restaple it, but yeah. A large proportion of the edge of this was staples, so there's there's less wood than there was when it was new to staple into. But, well, you know, we'll see how we go. Another thing I'm going to do, which I've suddenly realised when the grill, when the cloth was on, is that it's obviously cloth on first when it's new and then they drill through it. So when I put the cloth back on, I'm not going to be able to see where my screw holes are. So I'm going to mark little marks beyond the cloth line so I know roughly where my screw holes are to put it back on. OK, well, that's exciting. You get to see that without its... Uh, and add its skin on. Yeah, it wants to clean up. Ooh. Okay, well that's that. I'm going to measure that up. I've got, I'm, I'm being brief because I've got to go upstairs and read a bedtime story in a second. So this is the old one. That's the new one underneath, and it's going to be comfortably big enough to uh, work with. It's not going to be big enough to do the head as well which is a shame, it would have been nice to get the head done as well, the little bit on front of the, uh, the the amp. But you can't have everything, can you? Where would you keep it? That's a Lemmy joke, copyright Lemmy, I'm not claiming that one. Okay, before I go any further with uh, sticking the new cloth on here, um, the actual baffle, is that the word? Bit what the speakers go in that gets covered in the cloth. Is uh, yeah, looking quite tired as well. So I'm going to give it not a big spruce up. I'm not going to paint it or anything. Although there are bits like this, so I've got a trusty marker pen and wet wipes. So um, which are my go-to tools. So I'm just going to give it a quick step. Oh, better already. I'm, I'm assuming this is what they use at you know Marshall and Gibson and the proper block star factory. Wet white marker pen, that's your lot, that's your renovation kit. Yep, good enough. Got to be good enough. Not that you'd have seen it through the new cloth anyway, but as we said, I know it's done. So I can feel happy when I sit gazing at this thing once I've finished it. Now, I don't rightly know if there's a front and a back to grill cloth. Looking at this, it looks broad. Oh, hang on. That's got rounder, lumpy, and bumpy bits than this has, so I think that's the back. So let's do that. Well, let's do that. And you're supposed to find a seam. And sort of follow it to get you started. And I guess we just use one of these lines of weave, whatever you want to call it, and follow it all the way along. I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick a few, well, a couple of staples in just to hold it, and then I suppose I can get pulling and a tugging and a stretching and a making it straight. Right. Oh, and to do this, also we have. Trusty staple gun. So, uh, wish me luck. 
because I haven't got a license for one of these. Yeah. 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 I'm doing it. E. Right, so I guess I go along the top here like that, keeping it all nice and taut and straight, and then worry about everything else later. I think I'm going to pull this as tight as I dare, and then stick one in the middle. So I'm not pulling to one side or the other too much. I'll stick one in the middle underneath where the badge is going to go. I'm going to go for it and stick one in here. That's about as tight as I can get that. So hopefully that will stay there and I can start. Well, do I do the sides first or the bottom first? I guess I should do the sides, but they're not pulling straight from... I'm already getting a wrinkle in there. I don't want a wrinkle in there. This would appear to be a bit of a black art that I don't possess. The staples, we can take them out again. We don't want to take them out again. But it's something that might have to happen if I cock this up too badly. See, it's not easy when you don't know what you're doing. Maybe I should have ironed it. That looks pretty. I'm just going for it. I am. Watch me go. I don't think that's tight enough. I think I've got a bit of a wrinkle going on here. How can it be? To cover a bit of flat wood and flat material. Yeah, I did bring a radio down with me. But I've ended up just leaving this going and talking to you, constant viewer. Unless you've wandered off to make a cup of tea or do something more sensible instead. Let's face it, I'm the only person who's going to be watching this on YouTube. That's fine. My little diary. My little... Remember when you knackered that amp? It all started going so well that you carried on and made a complete mess of it when it came to the finishing. No, nah, be fine, be fine. I'm not worried. I'm not... We're at staples. Staples! But using D staples, I have no idea if that's good or bad. Oh, they're eight millimeters. Eight millimeter staples. Staple fans. It's one of those jobs where you definitely need three hands. This is going to be the bit, isn't it? The last corner. Will he staple his finger? Almost certainly yes. But if I do, I'll cut it out for the uh, more delicate souls among you. Myself included. I mean, let's face it, it's, as long as it sort of settles, it's not like this is ever going to have a microphone stuffed up against it, because I'm, uh, I'm not planning on uh, playing live with this thing. I'm not planning on playing live at all. It would be lovely. I mean... It's definitely something I'd like to do. But um, at my time of life, you know, when you're too old to be in a hardcore band and too young to be in a blues band yet. Okay. That. Apart from all the cack on it, is reasonable, I'd say. For a first stab. relatively flat can you see that yeah that's all right black star logo there quick hoover i'm happy with that 
you know, I'm sure I wouldn't get a job at Blackstar or Marshall or indeed anybody who builds amplifiers, but there's a line there. So that goes all the way across there. Oh, and then it goes up there a bit and back down there, but let's not look at that line. Let's just marvel at the, the depthless black void that is the front of my new cab. I am reasonably pleased with that. I mean, in retrospect, it's not the most difficult job I'm going to come up against, but it could have gone a lot worse. So uh, I'm going to put a million more staples in it because that seems to be the way these things are done. It's like the glue, stick twice as much as you need on and then stick the rest of the bucket on as well. I'm going to do the same with staples. It's just going to be, I'm going to double the weight of this with staples now. Yeah, that's reasonably tall. That's all right. That's okay. I'll be back. See you in a bit. All right. I'm happy with that. That's gone well. Um, yeah, not a lot to add. It's, it is what it is. It's a bit of wood covered in black grill cloth, but it looks all right. The more I look at it, I mean, I've, I've put, yeah, <laughs> far too many staples in, but it's solid. Um, it's quite tidy, I guess. Corners a little bit bulgy, but I don't think that matters because they're on the back and you don't see them. Yeah, that's, that's pleased me somewhat. I've just realised that I've probably stapled over a lot of me uh, drill holes. But that's all right. We can move staples. Yeah, I thought I might do that now. Oh, God. Take a few out, put a few in around the holes. Good stuff. Okay. I'm going to fettle with this for a bit and um, I'll see you on Saturday for the really tricky bit. The covering. The covering. All right. 